Hello, my name is Dr Gill. I've been asked to assess your ears today. That's going to involve having a look at your ears, pressing around your ears, using an otoscope to look within your ears, and also doing some hearing testing. Are you happy to proceed with that? The patient provides consent, so thank you. So to start off, I'm going to jam my hands. And then I'm going to get the otoscope. So having a look around the ear from the outside, can't see any evidence of scarring, there's no bleeding, I can't see any uh, changes to the skin, so BCCs or SCCs. Uh, looking behind the ear, moving the ear forwards, uh, there's no evidence of inflammation to the mastoid, nor can I see any surgery issues. I'm just going to press over the uh, tragus and any problems there. Okay, I'm going to pull the pinna, any issues with that? Super. And I'm just going to press over the mastoid, is there any pain there? Fantastic, thank you. So I'm going to step behind you for a moment and I'm going to check the lymph nodes. So I'm going to put my hands on your head and neck. Are you happy to proceed with that? Super. And we're going to check for preauricular, postauricular lymph nodes, but we're also going to check at the back of the head for the occipital processes. And for completion, I'm going to check submental, submandibular, tonsillar, parotid, and maybe do the posterior and anterior cervical chains. I'm going to come back with the otoscope and now we're going to have a look within the ear. So I'm just going to stabilise on your face, pulling the ear back and inserting the otoscope. So having a look on the inside, I can see a normal tympanic membrane. There's a normal light reflex. I can't see any fluid behind, no evidence of scars. There are no problems with the uh, ear canal. I can't see bleeding, swelling, foreign bodies, wax or any debris. Um, and again, with the tympanic membrane, I can easily see the ossicles um, and I can't see any previous um, evidence of previous um, surgery. So we're going to flip things around and we're going to check the same, uh, the ear on the opposite side. Assuming everything is normal there, we're going to get the tuning fork and I'm just going to place this on the back behind the ear. So tell me when you can no longer hear the noise. When the noise is disappeared, I'm bringing it round again. Can you still hear the noise? Fantastic, and we do the same on the opposite side. Now we're going to complete by um, checking uh, with the tuning fork at the centre of the head. Can you hear it in the left or the right ear or centrally? Centrally, fantastic. So I'm now going to stand again behind you. So again, standing behind you, doing a hearing assessment, I'm going to press over one ear, so as a distraction, rubbing the tragus, and I'm going to whisper a noise uh, at an arm's length away, so please tell me what you can hear. 35C. Okay, so that was normal. And we're going to do the same again on this side. So pressing over the tragus. 472D. Great, so we've, uh, we don't appear to have any abnormalities to the hearing. So we complete the examination by doing a cranial nerve examination and organising for uh, formal audiology. Uh, do you have any questions for myself based on this? Thank you very much.